for the next six months, I'll be focused on doing my job as president. That means I'll continue to lower costs for hardworking families, grow our economy. I'll keep defending our personal freedoms and our civil rights, from the right to vote to the right to choose. While the final months of a president's time in office is known as the lame duck period, President Biden made it clear to the country last night that he has a lot more that he wants to accomplish prior to January 20th. Secretary of Commerce and possible vice presidential contender Gina Raimondo is here with us now to discuss it. Uh, Madam Secretary, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I want to get to the Harris campaign and your potential role in it in a moment. But first, I want to ask you about last night uh, when the president you've been serving as Commerce Secretary for the past three and a half years spoke publicly for the first time about his decision to step aside as the candidate. And I'm wondering how you feel about that decision. Did he do the right thing? Uh, yes, he did do the right thing. It was his decision. And I have to say, Watching it last night and even just watching the clip now, it, it was a beautiful and moving address to the nation. It's the man I know, a man who's decent and honorable, who has always put country before self, which, quite frankly, we need more of in American politics today. I've never been prouder of him, and I'm, I've just been so proud to serve alongside of him. And he made that decision for the good of the country, and I respect that deeply. Uh, the president talked a little bit last night about what he wants to do with his final six months in office. What are your priorities for the next six months and what's realistic? You know, uh, I wake up every day thinking that today's the day to get everything done. So we have a lot to do. Uh, in my case, we have to uh, finish implementing the CHIPS Act to make sure that the United States once again leads in semiconductor manufacturing. We want to uh, get all of the money uh, allocated to states for broadband to make sure that every American has access to the Internet. So we're just going to continue to run through the tape and do what we need to do, like revitalizing manufacturing, working on AI. That's a big piece of work that I have. So we're very focused and continuing to work. Uh, President Trump, the former president, and his running mate, J.D. Vance, have a very different idea for how to boost domestic production. They're calling for a 10 percent across-the-board tariff on foreign goods. What do you make of that proposal? I think it's a terrible proposal. It is, it is reckless. It will hurt this economy. It will hurt American workers. It'll impair our ability to manufacture. You know, many uh, goods that are coming from China are actually inputs into products that we want to make in America. I think you know, Nancy, I make it my business to talk to American CEOs almost every day, from the biggest to the smallest companies. I literally can't find a single one who would support that kind of a policy. Uh, tariffs to level the playing field and stick up for American workers and businesses uh, can be strategic if done in a thoughtful, pinpointed way. But done the way that the former president is talking about it, I think is wrongheaded, is quite dangerous. And again, I talk to economists, I talk to businesses every day. They're scared of that particular proposal because they know how bad it will be for the economy, for their businesses and for workers. Sec secretary Raimondo, you're a former businesswoman yourself. You're the former governor of Rhode Island, now a cabinet secretary. And we've been reporting that you are one of roughly a dozen individuals who are being vetted right now by the Harris campaign as a possible running mate. Can you confirm that you are, in fact, being vetted? And are you interested in the job? So, Nancy, I'm here in my official capacity as Commerce Secretary, so I can't and won't comment on my private conversations uh, with the campaign. But obviously, it would be an honor to serve uh, in that capacity, an honor for anybody. And it has certainly been my honor to serve alongside of Vice President Harris and have a front row seat these past few years to her incredible leadership. Uh, uh, I respect the fact that you can't go into a lot of depth. You are, though, one of only a couple of women on the list of candidates. The rest of them are men. This nation has never elected a woman president. Do you think voters, particularly male voters, are ready to see two women on the same ticket? Absolutely. Look, I think the American people are ready for the team that can lead, whoever that is, regardless of, you know, gender or race or background. Look, as you just said, I've run a business. 
I've run a state for two terms. I now run a huge agency. I'm an executive. Any executive knows if you want to get the job done, you hire the right people in the right spots at the right time to get it done. And the American people are looking for action. They're yearning for leadership to solve their problems. And I think they'll get behind who uh, they can trust to fight for them and to put their interests first and get the job done. Uh, President Trump has been trying out some new attack lines on Vice President Harris. Just today, he called her garbage. He said she's the most radical person who has ever held office. And she, he said that she's not very smart. Uh, you've worked with Vice President Harris quite a bit over the past four years. Would you care to respond to those descriptions? I think it's ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. And by the way, I don't see how childish name calling like that is going to solve any problems. Look, I have worked with the vice president. I have worked with her on artificial intelligence. I have worked with her on broadband. I have worked with her on manufacturing. Uh, she is brilliant in the weeds. She listens. She's a hard worker. There's absolutely no basis for that and, quite frankly, no place for that in American politics. Let's get serious. Understood. Secretary Raimondo, uh, Commerce Secretary, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thanks, Nancy.